Hey, could you ever imagine getting an operation when you're 12 years old and hearing that you have to have one? Well, I went to the doctor with my mother to find out why every time when I was in junior high school, uh, they'd have me running around the block because that's that was like their track. We'd have to run around the block, and every time I'd run around the block, I would uh, pass out. So then we went to the doctor to find out what was wrong, why I was having shortness of breath, came to find out I had to have a open heart surgery due to I had a hole in my heart the size of a quarter. So uh, I was crying in the office when I found out. Later on when it became that time they had classes for us to go to so that I would know that, you know, it wasn't going to be painful. So for, I want to say from junior high school, from the 8th grade all the way up to the 12th grade, I would wear shorts, I mean shorts, sh shirts that were buttoned up, the kind with the buttons on it, and it would be closed all the way up into here. And then finally, I decided, you know what, I'm going to be like this for the rest of my life. So I need to start getting used to having shirts that are low cut or didn't, didn't have any buttons at all. And bathing suit, I would make sure that that time the bathing suit would come all the way up here so that people wouldn't see my scar. But then, I, you know, I realized, hey, I'm going to have to deal with this for the rest of my life, so might as well get used to it. So now I'd wear bathing suits that would come to like right here that were low cut. And I just wanted to give you some information about not being, not having, um, being afraid of having surgery because most of the time 99.9% .9 that when you get surgery you're okay you come out alive so I just want to tell you that I was in the hospital for 10 days and the days when I had to have when I had surgery uh, after I had the surgery this is my scar right here and what they would do, they would have tape on it so that it would, they would like close it up and those would eventually dissolve and fall off. Then the doctors would come in every day and they would say, you know, if you want to get out of this hospital, you need to start getting up and getting around and walking around so that you want to get better so you can, I have to excuse me, I have allergies in the morning, I tend to blow my nose and my eyes are watering and stuff. <laughs> So um, I need to get up and walk around. Good thing about being in a hospital is you're able to meet a lot of new friends. Besides the nurses and the staff, you also have people that you've probably never even seen before. I had a roommate. Her name was Kelly. We wind up being pen pals after, shortly after that. Then I had family members that came to see me. Here's a picture of me when I was in the hospital. and have family members come and see you. I have my uncle, my cousins that live out of state. Oh, and this is the surf, this is the, oh, back in that day also, I used to be in love with Miss Pac-Man. So, somebody gave me one of those little arcade games of Pac-Man that I could play while I was actually in the hospital and my mom gave me a shirt that said I love to play Miss Pac-Man. <clears throat> my auntie even came in and did my hair some days. I had cousins. I had a lot of cousins that came. It's funny also that um, my cousin, my boy cousin, he happened to try to pull um, a window down you know how you pull it down and it closes, but they both go up. Well, the top one is up and the bottom one was up also. Well, he tried to pull it down. And how did it come down on his nose? Therefore, he ended up having um, bandages on his nose also. That's, that was kind of crazy how that happened to be the same time when I went to the hospital. And then when I got out of the hospital... 
uh, my friend's mom happened to uh, rent a hospital bed. And I don't know if you've ever been in a hospital, but when you're in the hospital, they have a bed in there that uses this little machine. Every time you push it, it goes back and it goes up and it goes side. Oh, it's like a car with a lowrider, but it goes side to side and back. So she rented me a bed. So I was in the hospital for 10 days. And then when I got home for a whole week, extra week, I got a hospital bed sent to my house. So I was able to sleep in that. And that was fun, you know, when you're 12 years old, that's enjoyment. But that food, yeah, I don't know. I guess the food still hasn't changed because hospital food is still kind of nasty. And I would have people bring me food in when I was in the hospital. And um, that's about it. So now, sometimes I tend to wear little necklaces so that, I mean, I know I'm going to have that scar there forever. But still, if I wear this, people don't be asking you questions like, what happened? Did you get stabbed? No, I didn't get stabbed. I don't have situations like that. So, anyway, that's my uh, information about going to have surgery and finding out about if you need surgery or not.